Mrs. Warren. I hope you're having a fabulous Tuesday. Today, I'm going to read to you Nuffle Bunny, which is a cautionary tale by Mo Wilms. This is actually a signed copy that I had one of my students gave to one of my children when I was pregnant. So it was a pretty cool um, thing to give a book, a gift uh, for me. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, wrong way, Mrs. Warren. All right, so let's read our story. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block through the park. Past the school and into the laundry mat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. She even got to put the money into the machine. And then they left. Do you notice anything particular happening in this picture? Did you catch it? I know this happened to me plenty of times with our son, Matthew. But a block later or so, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, A fag, a lag, a club. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. You think that's what he's trying, she's trying to tell her daddy. I go fag a club, said Trixie again. Faggle, pabble, wobble, flabby. Uh oh. Seems like she's upset about something. What could she be upset about? They went and had a fun time. They're walking home. Why is she so upset? Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. <gasps> ah! Trixie Ball, she went boneless. Can you make a connection with this story? Have you ever lost something so important and precious to you that you didn't know where it was and you just couldn't sleep or you couldn't go do something because something was missing. My son, Matthew, has a very important stuffed animal that is his Pooh Bear. And ever since he was a baby, he never, ever got that out of his sight. And when he did, oh, what a nightmare. So I know we can make a connection with this story. She said everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy, too. Mm. I'm sure we can all make a connection with that. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, oh, Where's Nuffle Bunny? Uh-oh. I think they might have just realized. The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. I like how the pictures are black and white with the exception of the main characters. The setting is black and white, but the characters are in color. Make some pop. They zoomed past the school 
and into the laundry mat. Does anybody recall where is Nuffle Bunny? Where did, where did it go? Do you remember? Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and he looked and he looked. <sighs> but Nufflebutt was nowhere to be found. Uh oh. Where did it go? Last time we saw him, it was in the washing machine. So Tricky's, Trixie's daddy decided to try harder. Until no Bunny! And those were the first words Trixie ever said. You know what would be really interesting? If you took the time and had a conversation with your parents and asked them, what were your first words that you've ever said? I'd be really curious to find out. All right, third grade, until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.